Can I just rant for one minute about men and dating one more time? One more time. So this guy is acting like he's trying to get to know me, right? You know, hi, how are you? All of the things. So I'm like, okay, I'll engage him back. How are you? Where are you from? What do you like to do? Where do you work? What's your job? I'm asking all these questions and I notice he's not asking me back, which is typically a red flag for me. There was a lot of good things about this guy. So after like three days of DMing, I was like, I just decided to be direct. I was like, are you interested in getting to know me or what? So he wrote back, yes, I would absolutely love to get to know you. Well, then why are you asking me any questions about myself? We've been messaging for three days and you have not returned one question back. You haven't you haven't asked any questions that would make me think that you actually want to get to know me. Or do you just want to hear yourself talk? In 2024, do women really want to teach a man how to have a conversation? When I say, what do you do for a living? Then you say, oh, I do this. What do you do for a living? When I say, what do you enjoy doing on the weekends? Then you say, oh, I enjoy doing this. What do you like doing on the weekends, Grace? Like the fact that I had to ask him if he was interested in getting to know me and why, if that was the case, he hasn't asked me any questions back. So then he he has responded, I haven't even opened it. I'm not even interested in looking because why is your emotional intelligence so low? As I can tell, you are an educated brother. He looks like he's educated, got a good job, got some money. He, look, he He's in his late 40s, y'all. And don't know how to ask me a question back? Yeah, I was just feeling feisty, like, just to be that direct and be like, why the f***, if you're interested in me, are you not asking me any questions back? Which I said it obviously in a nice way. I don't usually do that. Usually I just unmatch. I'm, I'm really confused. Like, y'all would be, no, I'm sure you're not. Any women on here, but anybody else who's not on dating apps or if you're already married and you have bypassed dating apps, you would be shocked at how many people don't know how to have a transactional conversation. How are you? I'm fine. And you? How's your day? It was great. And you? You know who does a good job at actually having transactional conversations? It's the younger men. The ones who are all terribly actually interested in trying to get to know me and having conversations that are just too young and I'm actually keep trying to move away from these middle mid 30s men because they're just getting on my f***ing nerves because they're in their mid 30s and I'm 47 and so I really need to be looking at these older men but these older men don't know how to have a f***ing transactional conversation like how can you be a d and you're almost 50 I will be single forever and then in the middle of this catastrophe with this man who's actually really attractive so I was really trying to really trying to squeeze like squeeze the, the, the juice out of the onion because he's actually and he's close by which is very rare like Grand Rapids close okay at the same time this other guy who's messaging me and he's doing a great job he's asking tons of great questions I'm asking them back we're having a great conversation just usually on dating apps conversations aren't just like going fast you know what I mean it's not like one response after response it's like a whole day or three hours or a week will go by before people respond you know for lots of reasons i know black don't crack and i know that you you're obviously aging well but like how old are you because your profile says you're 45 and you don't look 45 okay so so you know black men only day black and black men are out here aging like fine wine okay any age 55 45 35 they they just all fine all of them just so many of them but a black dude can look 25 and be 45. Okay, you got to ask to see the ID because they just out here aging beautifully. So this guy says, it says 45 on his hinge profile. So I'm like, you look young. After this whole conversation, I'm like, you really look young. And I'm like, how old are you? And so he said, he said, I'm about to be 30. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, what? Why? And I was like, you see how old I am, right? You see I'm 47. And I'm like, what is it with these 28, 29 year olds? Cause I've just had so many 28, 29 year olds try to give me y'all. I don't quite fully understand it. So then he said, oh, I meant to say 20. I was like, 20, wait, 20 what? He's like, I wrote 30, but I meant to say 20. I'm, I'm almost 20. I was like, why are you 19? on a dating app trying to match with a 47 year old what is wrong with you i literally said that to him i was like what is wrong with you and he's like i think you fine girl i, I know what to do with all of that he goes he get he went straight in i was like you are 19 and i was like i i have a son who's about to be 19 in the fall okay he's like i don't care about all that girl i take care of you <laughs> I was like, you know what? This has been very lively, nice conversation when I thought you were 45, but now that I know that 
got your nightie. Anyway, those are my dating chronicles for today. Just another day on Hinge, meeting 45 year olds who look, you know, he actually, so his profile said 45. I actually thought he was maybe like, I was hoping he was 35, but look 25. That's what I was hoping. Cause I'm still trying to not dip below 35. But then the, the n is 19. And, and can have a great conversation the 48 year old can <laughs> I mean, that's a bit, of a bit of a shock to the system for her, isn't it? You know, you texted about well, messaging someone, I think three days was it, and thinking, oh, he's, you know, close to my age, 45, she's 47. Yeah, that's a nice age gap, you know, just two years, not really anything in it. And eventually you find out he's 19. So he, I mean, he must look well past his years, like, because if you thought, oh, he's 45 and he's, and he's got a car and he's got a bit of money and he's educated, he must be doing pretty well for himself. Uh, at 19, but I think she's done the right thing there, you know, just saying that you're a bit too young for me. Cause what's that? 20, 28 year difference in age gap between the two of them. Well, the 19 year old one, it sounds like, but I think she's saw, saw a bit of sense and thought, oh, I mean, imagine that. Oh, let's say it's Christmas or Thanksgiving or a birthday and and the woman, you know, like a birthday meal, for example, they've gone out to a restaurant, you know, for a birthday meal. Her son's, who's, I think she said was 18, not like turning 19 pretty soon. And then two, you know, they're having a birthday meal and the mum says, ah, oh, you know, my, my partner's coming. Some 19 year old rocks up. I mean, you'd be absolutely mortified as the son. It would be possibly the worst thing ever. I think it's very good that she's kind of, you know, put him to one side and just said, no, not for me. You have a nice day, but not for me. <laughs> <laughs>